Hey, what is up guys? And real quick before I start this video, I just want to apologize for any ferret noises you may hear in the background. I had no choice but to let him out because he was going wild. So, I hope you enjoy the video anyways. I'm going to try to speak as clearly as I can and hopefully the background noise of the ferret won't affect the video too much. So let's get started. Now, a lot of people actually requested this a long time ago and I have not been making videos that often at all. I've been trying to work get money and all kinds of other little things uh, in between so let's do this video finally um so the multi-craft panel uh, they're all different forms uh, I will show you an example of a second multi-craft panel uh, this is with a different daemon um, I, th I believe GG servers would look like this and maybe other ones too uh, but this these are two ones um, MC Prosting has a custom multi-craft panel that's why it looks like this so we're just going to go with your average one first. So basically your average multi-craft panel will have chat, console, players, files, advanced, and delete server, which it wouldn't have because unless you're a super user, which I am. Uh, anyway, let's go through the basics. Uh, the name, uh, what, you, what you name your server would be, it really does not matter. Player count, usually you can't edit it, but I can, and that basically determines how many players you have. Um, if you wanted to show your banner, no one cares. Uh, the sign user, IP address, um, port, memory, which sometimes it'll have it in a different location, the type of server you have, the jar file of your server, uh, the world, and usually this other stuff sometimes shows, it doesn't always. CPU and memory usage. Ah, that's a beautiful memory usage, 100%. So anyway, let's explain some of these side ones now. Chat. Uh, as long as you don't have Essentials Chat or any other chat manager plugin, uh, usually that will affect it in a way that this whole thing will be worthless. It won't even really matter because all chat will show up in console then. Uh, console is basically where you type commands in. Um, for example, if I want to do like, uh, if I wanted to heal a player, uh, I would do heal and then it would say heal player, yeah. So no one to heal right now, no one's on dead server right now. Uh, players, um, this is every player that's, uh, I don't even know all these players, but yeah, uh, let's just ignore that because I don't really think you'll ever use that at all. Config files. Uh, config files contains all the files for your, that are on your server. I'm excluding some of them. Not all of them will be in there. FTP file access. Uh, let's log into that. I've already kind of walked through this before in prior videos, so I'm not really going to go through this. This is your main directory and includes all your worlds, your logs, and pretty much everything else that matters, including the jar for the server, which loads up the type of server you have. So we'll back out of that. Advanced. Um, hold on, let's go through files again. Backup, if you want to back up your server, that's up to you. All the commands for your basic server without the plugins is here. Scheduled tasks are here, which you can set. Uh, let me show you how to set one. This is a restart warning. Um, this is before the restart. I, the command will be admin say, and it will say server restart in two minutes. Run for server. That's basically that. Um, if you know, if you want to get more into that, uh, I will show you a guide someday. It's too easy though. I'll just like, I, if you have a question, comment, and I will reply trying to help you. Uh, users are basically everyone who has access to the servers, uh, like the main servers. Uh, MySQL database that's for setting up things like log block uh, anyway let's go into the multi the MC pro hosting one because I highly recommend MC pro hosting and if you don't have a server with them I recommend trying them out they have a lot of cool new features and that is why I want to switch over to this now if you have a server you can make your own custom subdomain uh, so for example I already have one and prior to this update so it's not showing if I wanted to call it like a chicken train there we go we have chicken train on mcpro.co uh, if you wanted to do server type you can basically set your server type uh, it's highly recommended before changing your server type that you make a backup otherwise your server can go poof and no one wants it to go poof uh, so now that it's finally loaded um, basically you have the choice between a mod pack bucket uh, snapshot standard minecraft uh, now in Spigot and Pixelmon, if you want a mod pack like this, though, 
you will need mod pack support so just be prepared for that uh, but basically that's how it, if you wanted to change your jar name you know it's up to you okay next we can uh, we can showcase the MC Pro hosting's new FTP if it might be confusing to some people but that is basically it once it loads once it loads someday once it, someday 10 years later mm -hmm, a few years later oh, there we go uh, basically this is the same thing but it's more organized plugins you know I'm not I don't want to show you my plugins just so you can uh, basically the same thing though all this stuff all this stuff basically that's the whole multi-craft panel in itself if I can't really go into very much more detail if you have a question on how to navigate the FTP panel I highly suggest you watch some of my prior videos because I have navigated it multiple times before and it's very easy to understand uh, and there's even guides on how to do it so I hope you enjoy this video guys and as always have a nice day